so I'm actually recording this before our class. It's probably going to be a bit noisy. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to post it because it's a bit noisy. However, it's an emergency and I need to give you this information. This is a 30-day plan for studying and preparing for the CSEC English A exam. Hi, I'm Ms. Chanel and I'm here to give you this information so that you know how to prepare for the exam, right? So you this is specifically for paper two by the way and this is for those of you who have not done a single thing over the last year or two and this is also for those of you who have been working and are looking for a way to actually effectively prepare for CSEC English A. If you see me looking down it's only because I'm trying to make sure I give you I follow my notes right so this is just a warning for this you want to try and follow the recommended times the recommended time for each section for this exam are actually only paper to paper um, this is all about doing daily practice in small doses so even if on some of the days um, I'm recommending do more than one question if you can only do one then that's okay the point is you need to do this every single day and you've got to trust the process you've got to trust that you can do this and improve yourself because 30 days of direct consistent work is way better than one day of mad panics rushing the day before the exam it's not gonna work right and why is that it's because english is a practical exam if you have not been focusing on any writing and expressing yourself in terms of written communication you're gonna have a hard time and that's exactly what you need to do to prepare for the exam be able to communicate in writing so here's what you want to do on the first couple of days days one to five you want to focus on the informative i recommend starting with this because it tends to be the easiest and least stressful <laughs> so far it's the least stressful um section in paper two this is section b all right what i recommend that you do on the first day is to learn your formats the formats are important to learn so that you can get your three marks at formatting and so you can understand the direction of um, how you should write it because a notice is different from a letter from a report in terms of purpose and intention right so you want to learn the formats on day one day two days two to five you're going to go ahead and actually start working on questions for each of these formats right so day two, I want you to do two emails. That's my recommendation. You do two questions on emails. Day three, do two questions on reports. Day four should be two questions on notices. And day five, two questions on letters. So going from the least stressful to probably one of the most stressful questions on the exam, we're going to work. I am recommending that you work on summary for day six to ten. Don't freak out. All right the point is you've got to actually attempt these questions right so on day six you want to do one question right and all we're doing would be the main points on that day that's all i want you to focus on focus on reading the extract figuring out its purpose and getting the main points on day seven you're going to then actually write the summary all right based off those main points okay that's day seven day eight and day nine you're going to do a separate question on each day so one question day eight another question day nine two new questions and you're going to do the full full response main points plus summary all right and day 10 again we're doing main points plus and summary but i challenge you i challenge you to try to do two questions that day all right so now we're going to move on to my favorite writing style short stories right i love short stories i write short stories i write short stories that fit within this c-sec context which i call mini short stories um i love them i think however they are one of the most challenging questions on the exam paper because it requires you to be extremely creative within a very limited time limit all right so for that purpose you do still need to practice how you would respond to a prompt what if it's one of those atrocious picture prompts that CXC likes to produce like we don't have technology or what if it's a, um, a written prompt right so on days 11 12 and 14 I just want you to write a short story write a new one each of those days um, if you can do more than one go ahead and do it again it depends on your exact schedule but that's what you're going to do from days 11 to 14 so we're now halfway there 
right at this point in time you should be halfway there so what we want to do is kind of recap some of the stuff some of the skills you've already picked up or explored in writing okay so day 15 you want to do an informative and you want to do a summary all right and on day 16 you want to do a summary and you want to do a short story all right yes i gave you more summaries because that's the one everybody sucks at so do your summaries get your map okay now on to day 17 and argumentative i love argumentative <laughs> I love to win arguments all right so you want to start working on it now this is actually a potentially very easy question to pass but a lot of students lose marks on some very simple simple issues right so what you want to do on day 17 is you've picked your question you want to work on your thinking process how you come up with pros and cons right you don't get marks for this but if you don't do this you will not get any marks at all right so you want to figure out your pros and cons on a topic and then start formulating a thesis statement all right so you want to do that for two questions practice thinking and formulating your thesis statement if you need to work with friends or someone else it's even better day 18 you want to go ahead and write your intros for those two questions you're just doing the intro so that means your introduction your introductory paragraph and you're going to end with your thesis statement thesis statement has to go there don't leave it out and on day 19 you're going to do your body paragraphs your three body paragraphs each with its own topic sentence and you're going to do a conclusion so this is for the same two questions make sure you do that so technically we've covered every single section in paper two so when it comes to days 20 to 26 what you want to do is just review everything all right you want to review your well review is not the word because you've already done reviews and we've gone beyond the point of reviews what you want to do on each of those days is you want to actually work you want to practice you want to write that's what we're doing we're going to actually write so on day 20 it's a short story and a summary on day 21 argumentative i put argumentative alone for day 21 and 22 because we hardly did any so you can work on at least one argumentative on day 21 and on day 22 um, so that's one on day 21 and a second one on day 22 two separate questions days 23 to 24 to 25 26 you're mixing it up again so uh day 23 argumentative and summary day 24 short story and summary day 25 argumentative and summary and day 26 short story and informative and i guess i have a lot of summary if you're good at summaries you could switch it out but i have a lot of people who tell me they're good at summaries and they're not so i recommend you work on the summaries it's actually okay to work on it because it actually falls within the realm of argumentative a little bit similar style in terms of writing oftentimes so i do believe summary practice does help you for argumentative we're done we're now we're down to the last couple of days days 27 to 30 and what you have to do on these days is to challenge yourself to a full paper a full past paper a whole past paper guys that's what you're gonna do all right so i recommend these particular past papers to work on for this 2023 may june exam period so on day 27 you want to do june 2021 on day 28 jan 2022 day 29 june 2022 and on day 30 jan 2023 now this is a practice run so if you've done questions from these papers before that's okay english is a practical you can just redo that okay so this has been um my guide for how we should prepare for english a in 30 days i do hope it's been helpful if it has been comment below if you have recommendations to this guide comment them below if you have questions and concerns about anything in terms of prepping for this comment below um and you know when i see those comments i'll either reply in a comment i probably won't reply in a comment i suck at commenting back i'm so sorry uh, but if i see it i'll more than likely make a video in response so that you would have some clarity on what you need to do comment below if you have recommendations